All right, there we go. Oh, I'm looking for my earphones to take out, but I've, I haven't got any ears, so that was different. There's a few things that were different today in my run. It's windier for a start, you can see that by the sea. And a few other things which I'll go into. Oh, social distancing was good. I don't know what it was about today. People clearing the pavement for me. Um, oh, that's better. So here we are. Um, before we crack into a little conversation, um, yeah, doing this, let's get it out of the way, to get some donations for the WHO, World Health Organization, who is globally putting together and organizing supplies and a response for the pandemic of COVID-19. Um, so this is to raise awareness and for you, hopefully, to hit the donate button. There's links everywhere now. Uh, however little it is, just hit that link button. So I'm out of breath. I've forgotten how hard it was to to run in blue lycra. You can't breathe. How I did four hours in this. Anyway, uh, yeah. So hit that donate button if you would be so kind. I'll leave it up there for a week. I've said 200 quid as a target, but yeah, if you've just got a five or something, I don't know. Maybe, hopefully, people are donating in lots of places, but. If you could hit that donate button, that would be fantastic. Okay, so, how is everyone? I'm not going to lie, I can only just about see through this blue uh, lycra. I can see, and also my fingers can't touch the screen. Um, I have to use my stylus. <laughs> I must be the only blue morph in the world with a stylus. So I can see Mike James in the house. Thanks, Mike, for stimulating me, as always. Uh, Obviously, I couldn't just do 5k and donate a fiver to WHO. I had to do something a little bit more extravagant. So here I am. But thanks, Mike, the endurance physio, for uh, passing it on. And at the end of this video, I will nominate five other people uh, to carry on. You don't have to obviously dress in blue lycra if I nominate you. Um, but hey, if you want to do something wacky and film it, then that's an idea. Just to make it a little bit different. But the most important thing is you all go and run your 5k as long as you can run 5k safely. Um, and you've got to be socially responsible during that 5k, giving people lots of distance and room. Um, I tried being very friendly this morning, but I don't know whether it's the blue light crew or the fact I'm six foot six. Uh, people were grabbing kids and just kind of moving out of my way about six meters. I don't know. Do I look intimidating? I can't see it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll nominate five people at the end of this video. Let's just say hello to, who we got? Elizabeth Scott's in the house. Hi Elizabeth, Victoria, John, how you doing? Oh, maybe I should nominate people from this list. There's an idea. At the end of this video, I will nominate five people from this list of people who have joined me. Watch the room empty. As long as you can run a 5K. That's important with these running challenges. You've got to be able to run 5K. Um, Mike James, I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> Hopefully I can start off a whole trait of blue morph like well, not only blue, get a different colour Mike. I'll give you some stories in a second. I'll give you some uh, a 101 on wearing lycra in marathons. Um, I've got some interesting advice and anecdotes. Um, Pinky Sue. It's either Pinky or Perky. I can't quite see through the lycra. Either sounds great. So Pinky Perky Sue, how you doing? Claire Ramson, hey Claire, how you doing? Hope you and the guys and family all very well. Oh, memories, people out the back from Wagon joining us. Jade, hi. Ruth Farnell, how are you doing? Are you still abroad? I've seen some wonderful photos. I think Ruth is abroad, running in Cyprus maybe with goats. Um, oh, I can't. Yes, sorry, you look a bit scary. <laughs> oh, I'll tell a story about that in a second as well. And Paul McCambridge. Um, yeah, I've got some funny anecdotes about running and training for marathons and halves in this. Let me put my stylus away. So, um, it all started because I was working at Studio 57 and, and I never wanted to do a marathon. Um, I was a half marathon runner and I hated the idea of running for longer than kind of three hours. Forget it. Even more than two hours was a, like, really? Why? So I always made a joke that it would be the Brighton Marathon. I would do the Brighton Marathon 
and at that point like 15 20 years ago there was no Brighton Marathon because uh, well thanks to Fat Boy Slim basically um, there was such carnage after his concerts that Brighton Marathon never got permission and then eventually one day my brother says to me oh guess what you're running the marathon and I said no I'm not he says yes you are and we're the therapists for it so I had to run Brighton Marathon and I thought well I may as well raise a bit of awareness to the clinic and the colour was blue so Gradually it went from wear a blue t-shirt to carry blue balloons to wear a blue morph suit and that's how it all started many 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 years ago. Um, one of the most interesting stories I've got, which some of you will have heard of before, is um, after a couple of marathons in particular, the hearts weren't so bad, but obviously during a marathon sometimes you need a wee. Um, now I don't know about whether you have a you know, you've got this massive zip going up the back. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, call me a bit weird, but it's just something not right about looking over your shoulder and asking another bloke to unzip you. It's just not, I don't know, maybe it's me, um, but asking people to unzip me was, uh, it just felt weird. So, uh, and then also standing there doing... Total little, distance, three miles. Oh, Total time, 36 me. minutes and eight seconds. Split pace, 15 minutes, 28 seconds per mile. Oh, hold on. Da, 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 da. Turn this dude off. There we go. Sorry, my map, my run was a stupid idea in that because I can't control it with my fingers. I uh, just switched that off. So anyway, yeah, um, yeah. So blue morph suits have got a zip at the back, and and I didn't like standing there with a blue morph suit around my ankles, um, having a wee. Uh, plus, you lost lots of time looking for someone to zip you back up again. So I decided to. Uh, I took my blue morph suit to um, a tailor's to get a little crotch zip um, and I checked with them, I said is it going to be okay, can you put a crotch zip in this just so I can go for a wee um, at marathon, so they kind of looked at me a bit weirdly um, and like, I said no it's, it's for a marathon, that's why and and they agreed um, and they said yeah we can do that and I said do you want to show you where it goes and they were like I think we know where a crotch zip goes so we are a tailor, so I just left it there and the marathon was like in a couple of weeks time and uh, and I went back about a week's time to pick up my morph suit with a new crotch zip to help me go for a quick wee during the marathon. And basically they, they put it in the wrong side. They would basically put a zip on the back over the arse. So I had the, one of the only morph suits in the world, as far as I know, you can legally buy with a zip up the arse. Um, how they got it the wrong way around, I don't know. Because if I put it on that way, it would have meant I would have had a zip going all the way up my face and through my eyes and nose. And fortunately, they managed to change it around. But for a while, I had a well, it was quite. A, I could have sold it for a fortune on eBay. But there you go. That was my first morph suit story. Um, now I've got a nice little zip at the front, but I'm wearing shorts. So I won't show you. Um, right, how are we doing? Let's have a look who's in the room. Remember, I'm going to pick five of you people to do this challenge later on. All right. Let's say hello, say hello to Perky, say hello to Ruth, Paul, uh, David Gerbia and eight others. I can't see those eight others are. Daniel, how are you doing? How's it going? Paul Howard, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Maria Pally, massage therapist extraordinaire is in the house. Hi Maria, how are you well? Phil, how are you doing? Anita, how are you doing? Oh, lots of people for me to choose from. Jeez, I'm going to have to get this blue morph head off. I'm so hot in it. Bear with me a sec. The reveal. The Invisible Man. See, it's just not easy to undo these bloody things. There we go. It is so hot. Just take a look at the Oh, bloody hell. During a marathon, when you're running in this thing, look at the state of it. To make things even worse, you uh, within an hour or so, depending how hot it is, you end up the moisture just makes your vision into about that big. You get sweat everywhere, and you end up with a little hole like a cyclops in between your eyes, which is the only space you can actually see anything through because the rest is just damp. Um, so uh, you end up knocking into people, it's hilarious. And I remember. The other thing that comes to mind is 
first or second time I was running in this, I mean, everybody loves high-fiving runners, don't they? Kids love high-fiving runners, okay? Especially if you're six foot six and wearing blue lycra. It's amazing. So I had great fun during the marathon. Um, later in, in some, I was just pacing other runners because you were guaranteed a place in the local newspaper if you were running next to a six foot six blue morph. Um, but sometimes I was still stopping and clapping at the kids when we were allowed to touch, you know, people on their hands and stuff. Remember those years? Um, but I remember running along. People used to shout out the weirdest things at me. Like, uh, I remember one of them was uh, Spider-Man, for example. Hey, Spider-Man, the kids would say, which I kind of let go. I mean, Spider-Man's not blue, um, but I kind of got it with a face, so I let that one go. Uh, look, Mummy, it's the Invisible Man, which I thought was interesting. That's a bit kind of weird. How can you see the Invisible Man? But then I remember one particular year, quite a few kids were going, look, Mummy, a Teletubby. And I'm like, I'm not a Teletubby, okay? Um, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even have a dad tum at that time. I was looking quite strong and trim. I was not, definitely not a Lala or a Popo. And it happened a few times. People were going, look, Mummy, it's a Teletubby, Teletubby. And eventually I kind of looked over my shoulder to give a glare through the blue light at where the kids were calling me a Teletubby. <laughs> and I realised that behind me most of the way there was actually three Teletubbies following me um, in costume. So I learned a valuable lesson that it's not always about you, is it, when you're running. There are other people in costumes as well. But um, yeah, it was good fun. And actually, it's kind of inspired me maybe to do a few more once this is over. Um, in the Lycra, just to get my stylus out again. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll resurrect running more. There's a Facebook profile somewhere for me. Oh, right, here in the house. Hey Dave, how you doing? Sorry, I missed your birthday, by the way. Hope you're well, mate. Getting out to do some runs. Dave, we're just nice to see you. Uh, I'm going to see Pinky Sue. It's called Pinky Sue now. Nice to hear Pinky Sue. Um, Tom is in the house. Hey Tom, good. How are you doing? Tom, Dave, I've nominated you. Um, I would also like Maria to do your 5K and nominate five other people. I'm just randomly going through the list. So yeah, Maria. It's windy, isn't it? Maria, you can do, I'm nominating you. That's three. Daniel Gerber, I'm nominating you. That's four. I will put this in writing and send you official emails. Um, and then number five, I think we'll have, I'm going through, I'm going through. Claire Ramsden, you are number five. I'm nominating you. So that's five people. Uh, just to reiterate, that's Claire. And that is Daniel. That's two. Maria is three. Uh, Dave is four. Tom Goom is five. And there we go. Right, there's a lot of wind. Wicked. Tom's up for it. Um, yeah, it is windy. Sorry about that. Right, there we go. That's my 5K. Um, the donation link is there, people. If you'd be so kind, just put a five or something in, or two quid, whatever you can. Um, I've nominated my five people. Thanks, Mike. Um, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, I will do, Tom. Um, and, uh, yeah, like you know, I'm doing these daily runs and advice for runners pretty much every day. Um, normally on Instagram Live. So if you're not following me on Instagram, then follow me there. Um, that's it. Um, I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Uh, stay active. Be responsible. Give runners a good name. Um, if you are running, then make sure you give a clear three meters around other people because otherwise they get a bit snarly um thankfully we haven't had any total lockdown rules yet 
So um, it's at the Haven. It's actually Lancet Beach Green. I'm getting out of here now. Um, but yeah, it's lovely in Lancet Seafront. Yeah, right. That's it. Love you all. Take care and uh, speak to you very soon. And good luck, you five.